Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing? Um, today, well, first of all, let me just wave what's up. <laughs> but anyways, today, um, so I made this app like half a year ago uh, that lets you look at um, any Yu-Gi-Oh card and it'll project like a uh, hologram of it in your phone. Now, this was originally based on the HoloLens version of the app where you could have like a full like holographic experience if you had the HoloLens headset. So most people didn't actually own a HoloLens or could afford one. So I made a smartphone version right here where you could see it right through your smartphone. And it would go wherever your cards go and it tracks it along with your cards. So as you can see, it still works on a Blue Eyes White Dragon. But I have since uh, updated this and I, I apologize for like the long period of time between the initial release and this update it's because there hasn't been um many models available for it so acquiring 3d models took a while and I finally have some more and now the app does support a full 32 cards 32 monster cards and i know that's not much compared to how many monster cards are out there but uh hopefully you guys do enjoy the uh, update because there are more iconic cards supported now such as the dark magician let me just quickly show you before i switch to uh, a better view so there you have it uh, I'm gonna switch to the app itself now instead of recording with a second camera but just wanted to quickly uh, show you guys before we get in depth so yeah let's switch to that right now all right so uh, here we are again let's um, discuss the update a little bit so while we discuss the update I'm gonna show you some of the um, monster cards were running on it. Some of these uh, already worked on a previous version and as I mentioned some of them are new like the Dark Magician. Uh, so basically what's new in this update is uh, well most importantly the new monster cards that are now supported. As I said a total of 32 are now supported and uh, the, the list is right on the app um, right on the uh, main page of the app the main menu I don't have um, all these cards, so I can't show you all 32 supported cards, but I can show you quite a few of the cards that are supported and some features of the app. Like I said, the app can track up to five cards at once, and here I'm just going to do a few at the same time. Um, these are the Egyptian God cards, of course, some of my favorite cards, personally. And uh, so you could, you could technically have a duel with this. Um, you just need... You just need to hold your phone the entire the entire time or wear it as a headset, which is totally possible now. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, quite a few new cards were added. Here, Stardust Dragon, um, which is actually a pretty cool model. Now, like I said, the reason why this uh, app update was so delayed, while it's been so long without any other updates, uh, it's because I didn't have any 3D models, and without new 3D models the app really the game couldn't really move anywhere so that's kind of why it's been uh you know uh i don't know how to put it but just that's kind of why it's been like quiet for a while about the app but without further ado i do finally have an update for this and this is for the smartphone version and in addition to all these new updates uh an improved ui improved performance and some bug fixes and the new cards I hopefully will finally be able to get the iOS version out. It's always been for Android only, uh, and it will still be available for Android. And uh, at the time of this video being published, the update probably won't be available just yet. But you can still download the current version of the app, and you'll get the update when it becomes available. Uh, as for iOS users on iPhone and iPads, hopefully this should be out soon. I know I haven't been able to get an iOS version out, uh, but. There were quite a few issues with that, but I think I sh I have resolved the issues this time around, so Assuming nothing else goes wrong, there should be an iOS version out soon So for those of you iPhone and iPad users out there, you should be able to have uh, access to this app soon uh, And I will post a link in the description and uh, When the time comes so if it's not there right now, just uh, check back another time or um, I also post it on Reddit, uh, on a Yu-Gi-Oh Reddit, because um, I think that's where a lot of you uh, come from for when you see this video. So I'll be sure to post the updates there as well, the announcements. But 
other than that, um, yeah, so 32 cards. Uh, most of them are pretty iconic. A few of them are somewhat obscure. Uh, you can just take a look at the list in the app. But like I said, you can track out the five cards at once, and you can um, the monsters will move wherever the cards move. So hope you guys do find that to be uh, pretty cool still. And once again, I do apologize for how long it took for a new, new update. But um, yeah, so if you guys have, don't have the app already, make sure to download it. Otherwise, I uh, hope you guys do enjoy the new update, and I'll do my best to uh, keep it updated as much as possible. Uh, I just need to acquire more 3D models as well, but I think I might be able to do that a little bit better now. But yeah, so other than that, um, enjoy the app, and if you did enjoy this video too, make sure to leave a like and any uh, thoughts or suggestions in the comments, just uh, post them there. And I'll see you guys next time.